Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a female oasis. So if you're a dude, either click off or if you're a dude and you still want to watch it for some reason, enjoy it. But don't come for me or any of us girls. So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions advice anything like that related to girls or girl talk stuff and today we're going to be best friends and just have a conversation so i have all the questions on my phone i screenshotted a lot of questions so so the first question is is having like two friends fine i think having two friends is totally fine i'm also the kind of person that prefers having less friends quality over quantity that matters i rather have two like close best friends that i get along with and have fun with rather than like a huge group of five or ten friends that i don't get along with as well you know what i mean so i think having two friends is totally fine so i got a lot of questions about shaving and body hair and stuff like that so i'm just gonna like quickly go through all the hair related questions the first is do you prefer waxing or shaving so i prefer waxing but i can't wax because i have a genetic skin condition on my arms called keratosis pilaris which gives me like these red bumps and stuff on my skin and so my dermatologist told me that i can't wax anymore because that makes it a lot worse so i shave even though i prefer waxing how often do you shave or wax i shave every other day basically because it just it's a pain to shave that's why i prefer waxing because it's such a pain to shave like it grows back so fast when you have to shave thoughts and advice on shaving when it comes to thoughts i think it's a pain but it's also a lot more convenient and cheaper i guess because you don't have to like go and get like waxed you can just do it quickly in the shower at home and stuff which is good so it's more convenient and for advice just like moisturize and stuff make sure as soon as you shave you moisturize because like we don't want like weird bumps and razor burns talk about the story of your first kiss oh my god okay so i was 14 when i had my first kiss i know that's young but i was 14 i was with my first boyfriend and we like he used to come below my building to meet me because he wasn't allowed in my house because we were 14 and i remember i went to meet him down one day and then when i was like done meeting him and i was going back up to my house we like pecked for like 5 seconds like it was just like a 5 second peck like there was nothing else and then i got super nervous and ran out without saying another word to him that's the story of my first kiss how to get out of a toxic best friendship with a girl you've been bff since bffs for since 4 years I think when it comes to best friends it's always hard when it's kind of like a toxic relationship you need to sit down and like reflect on whether that person's like good for you and if they're not then it's obviously makes no sense to have them in your life and then I think you just need to be like honest with them and straight up with them and be like like you know I don't like the way you treat me and this is not like healthy for me or my mental state and you know and that relationship What is the right age to have a boyfriend? By the way, I love your videos. Thank you. And I honestly do think you should it should be after like the age of 13 or 14 because before that you're obviously too immature and like shy and weird and awkward. But like I think after the age of 14 or something, I don't think there's a right age. It all depends on you and the guy. Like if you think you're mentally and emotionally mature enough to have and be in a relationship because obviously a relationship is a lot of work. It's not like easy. And also if the guy is like emotionally ready and not like some immature dude who just wants to like play with you then i think it's the right time to be in a relationship should girls make an immediate move when we have a crush on someone i think if you have a crush on someone and they have a crush on you back then totally go for it and make a move the guy friends that i have i know they like when girls make the first move so if you have a crush on someone and they like you back then why not like go for it go get it but if you don't know whether they have a crush on you then i don't think it's a good idea to make an immediate move wait it out see how they feel towards you and then decide whether you want to make a move or not i have been dating this boy for 7 months and i feel pressured to lose my virginity what do i do if you feel pressured to lose your virginity don't do it because you will regret it any guy that pressures you into having sex with him is not worth it period But if you feel pressured to lose your virginity, don't do it. Only do something like that when you think you are ready. 
not depending on what other people want you to do or what your friends are doing or what like the guy wants you to do just only based on you I, I get this like weird mark on my face every single day just like this random like red line and I don't know where it comes from it's like scary how to not hate someone you dated who has hurt you like crazy in the past just not worth your energy if they've hurt you then they're clearly a toxic person that you don't need in your life and you don't need to waste so much energy hating them just forget about them and move on delete their number delete them from your life and move on don't even waste your energy on hating them how to get over a breakup breakups are obviously hard especially when you're a teenager i feel like because it's like feels like the end of the world the best way to get over a breakup is don't suppress your feelings if you feel like crying cry if you feel like talking about it talk about it don't suppress it try to distract yourself try to like hang out with your friends your family watch a movie read a book like just try to distract yourself feel whatever you're feeling like let it out and eventually it gets easier for sure is it normal not to date anyone till the age of 20 in my case i want to date after i get a job that's totally fine we love a career oriented girl like you do you sis i think that's amazing how to be okay with stretch marks everyone has stretch marks i feel like and i honestly think stretch marks add flavor to you a lot of stretch stretch marks on the side of my thigh and on my shoulders and i used to get super insecure about it but i realized like honestly no one cares like literally like no one cares about whether everyone has stretch marks it's not a big deal like you just need to be comfortable in your own body and realize that it like adds flavor to you i think it's flavorful to have stretch marks How do you deal with people who say you wear too much makeup? You don't. You don't deal with them. Put on your makeup and f them. Do you think it's okay for a boyfriend to like other girls' pictures on Instagram? I think it's okay for a guy to like another girl's pictures on an Instagram. I honestly don't understand why girls get so mad about something like that because like you are liking I'm sure you like other guys' pictures. I don't understand why it's like different for guys and different for girls. I think as long as they're not like sliding into that girl's DMs and like flirting with them a simple like isn't like really harmless like I feel like it's okay to appreciate other people's attractiveness as long as you're not like making a move or something like that but if it's just a like I think it's fine thoughts on hookup culture Okay so personally I'm not into it like I think I'm the kind of person that prefers like being in a relationship and having a real connection like I don't like hooking up and stuff like that but I have no issues with the idea of hookups I think that's totally okay like if you want to go out and hook up with someone go do it like it's really not a big deal I think it depends on the person and your personal preference but yeah I don't think it's like toxic What to do if you catch feelings while hooking up and the boy is emotionally unavailable? Mm. If you are hooking up with a guy and he's emotionally unavailable and you catch feelings, you need to get out of it because the longer you go on hooking up with him, obviously your feelings are only going to increase and if he's emotionally unavailable, then you're just going to end up super hurt. period tips and what do you use are you on any kind of birth control the thing about periods is for me i personally my periods are not that bad i get like pretty bad cramps but like it's like i can handle it for a lot of you girls it's probably really bad and i'm not on any form of birth control because i just don't want to like my hormones messed up and stuff like that but if i know that birth control does help a lot of girls with period cramps and acne and stuff like that on your period so if you want to look into it i think you should but what i usually do when i'm on my period is just like lie in bed and like relax like lie down and relax and i don't stress myself out i think that's the best way to deal when you're on your period just don't stress yourself out just relax take a breather and chill And the last question. My boyfriend has a lot of girl best friends and I can't help but feel insecure. What to do? I think this is like similar to what I said about like liking girls pictures. Like for me personally, I have a lot more guy friends than I have girl friends. And if I was in a relationship and my boyfriend had an issue with me having so many guy friends, I wouldn't be in that relationship because some of my bestest friends are guys. It's okay to have girl best friends. Like it's okay for your guy to have girl best friends. As long as your boyfriend sets boundaries between him and his girl best friends where it's not like 
crossing that like crossing over into that flirty weird relationship i think it's fine if it's like super platonic but that's also my personal opinion it also depends on what you're okay with and what you're not okay with i think you just need to like have a talk with him if it makes you uncomfortable i think you just need to talk to him about it those are all the questions and advice and stuff like that that I'm answering today. I also have to put a disclaimer out there. These are my own personal opinions and thoughts. And you guys are obviously entitled to your own opinions and stuff like that. And that's totally okay if you don't agree with me. These are just my personal opinions. If you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you like these kind of videos, let me know. Maybe I'll make more of them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.